Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code and welcome to the first episode of our Kivi tutorial series. In this first episode, we'll be going through the basic installation and basic setup of your Kivi project. So before we begin, let's just talk a little bit about what Kivi is. So Kivi is a Python framework that can, that can be deployed on Windows, Mac, Linux, and Raspberry Pi. So what makes this very special is that you can create one Python project and then build it for whichever devices you want it to run on. Whereas with other languages and other frameworks, you have to re basically rewrite your project from scratch depending on which devices you want it to run on. So without further ado, let's just get started. So before we begin, we need to install Kivi. I'll assume you've already installed Python, so I won't go through that installation, but open up your command prompt. And before we install Kivi, we want to create a virtual environment. And what is a virtual environment? Well, a virtual environment basically allows you to get all of your Python dependencies and everything you need for your Python project in one location without it interacting with everything else on your computer. So if you're dealing with large projects, a virtual environment is very good in that it allows you to keep everything isolated. So nothing, no glitches, no bugs, no errors run up when different Python dependencies are interacting with each other across different projects. So in order to create your virtual environment, just run this command, python-m, venv, and then whatever the name of your venv is, your virtual environment, you can put the path there, any folders that have not already been created will be created with this command. So since I already have mine created, I won't run this command again. And then you need to activate your virtual environment. So in order to do that, navigate to where your virtual environment is. So if you don't know, you can just type in directory and then search for it. So my Kivi Ven environment is right here. So I can do CD Kivi underscore Ven because that's the name of my directory. And then let's see what folders are inside of here. Navigate to scripts, so CD scripts. And then we want to run we want to run the activate.exe file. And once we run that activate file, as you can see, we have we're within our Kivi virtual environment. So within your Kivi virtual environment, you can now install Kivi. And the way you're going to do that is you can just say python -m pip install Kivi. Since I already have my Kivi installed, you won't need, I, I will not be doing that, but run this command and Kivi should be installed. So with that done, we can just create any fold or any file main.py and then start navigating and start altering it to do what we want it to do. So here I am in virtual studio code. And what I'm going to be doing here is I'll be creating basically a file that will print hello world. So we can say from Kivi dot app import app. Let's make that capital from Kivi dot UIX dot button import button. And then we can say we can create our main class. So class main app app. And what this will do is this will be our basically our main app for the game. So everything that exists within our or within our app will be within this class. So now we can define a method define build every one of your apps needs to have a build method. And then we'll create a button. So we can say button is equal to button and then we can define the text text equals hello world size underscore hint and I'll explain all of this once we're done writing it size underscore hint is equal to 0.5.5 and then we can say the position underscore hint is equal to center underscore x will be 2.5 and center underscore y will be set to 0.5 as well. All right, so let's explain what this does. 
So we're importing app and button from Kivi, which we just installed. Then we're creating our main app. And within this main app, we have a button widget. So each so what a widget is, is basically an interactive element within your app. So there are countless widgets in Kivi. You can have labels, you can have buttons, you can have checkboxes, various things that you can see in the Kivi website. But here we have a button and we can define different attributes of this button. So the text of this button I've set to hello world. The size of this button is referenced by size underscore hint and it can be any value from 0 to 1. So I've set the x value of this hint to 0.5 and the y value to 0.5. And the position underscore hint will represent the position of your widget. So the position I've set to 0.5 and 5. And then we just need to return whatever widgets we're creating within our build method. So we can return button. All right, so that's all we really need for the build method. Now we can go down and create an instance of this app and then run the app. So we can say if underscore underscore name is equal to main. And then we'll say app, we're creating a new app equals main app. And let's run this app that we've just created. All right, so now how do we actually run this code? So within our virtual environment that we've just created, let's navigate to where we have our main.py file. It can be anywhere on your computer that you'd like. All right, and once you've navigated to the folder that you have, just run Python main.py or whatever the name of your file is. And as you can see, Kivi will set out a log and you can check the logs for any errors. And as you can see here, there is an error right here, a typo. So instead of Kivi, I put Kiv T. So let's change that right now. From Kiv T to Kivi. Let's save and let's rerun this code. As you can see, we have a window called main and within this window, we have a button that we can click and it says hello world. All right, so we're done with the very basic setup of our Kivi app. And in the future, we'll be adding more widgets to this app. We'll be making them more interactive and we'll see how that plays out. But thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I hope you guys have enjoyed. This has been Steam Code. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.